Good evening, Angela. Good evening, Joanita. Oh, no. How are you? Uh, I am very well, and you? Okay, very nice, thank you. Okay. Only you and me <laughs> in class. Yes, yes. <laughs> and me. Okay. okay. Ah, Jose, Isaias. you're welcome. <laughs> And thank, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the last class? Yes, I ready. Yes. I finish in the platform and an exam. Uh, I am difficult the uh, the parts B and D, uh, but finish. <laughs> okay. Hello, good evening to everyone. Uh, welcome again to the last, well, in this case, the last class. And uh, it's going to be for this model. Uh, we're going to start right now. And as I said before yesterday, um, so today, what we're going to be working on is just in the final test. And also, we're going to be checking uh, the advances uh, that you have here in the platform of English Cooperativo. Uh, well, guys. Um, first of all, um, the, I had to highlight something uh, before to continue with, with, with the final test. Um, I just want to remember you that um, the option to um, send the documents is available. So um, if you haven't complete the exercise, I mean, yes, the exercises and, and, and the platform, you, you haven't achieved the 80%. Uh, you can do it yet. Yeah. Well, you, you can do it. So in this case, um, you're going to be able to send the documents. And the last day in order to send the documents is going to be October 4th. Um, uh, this the day, the, the deadline that they have in order to receive the document. So if you haven't complete uh, all, the, um, uh, all the exercises, go ahead and finish them as soon as possible, okay, in order to receive your documents. Um, well, uh, what I'm going to do right now is to share my screen because um, uh, what, I'm, uh, what I'm going, what we are going to be working on is just the final uh, exam, the final test. Um, as you see, the final test is composed by five different parts. There we are going to find a, a listening part uh, we are going to find request port. Uh, we are going to find here, also check the correct phrases. It's just uh, like um, multiple uh, questions. And um, also we have in section D, complete the story. Um, here we have a story. We have a, well, in this case, two different examples of it and uh, the uses that the, what we're going to be working on on this part is going to be the simple past, the use of the simple past, the past continuous and past perfect. Uh, we have been working on here in, 
in the plat in the platform also in the video conference that uh, we take for this model. Uh, then at the end you are going to read stories. In this case, we have three different stories um, here. And also we have a three different questions for each one. Um, well, we're going to start with the number, uh, the section A with the um, instruction number one. And it says, um, listen to the conversation, check the correct answers, okay? Uh, in the first part, we're going to find that uh, the four different items that we need to complete according to the audio that we're going to listen in a, in a minute, okay? So uh, in order to, I, I don't know if you had already worked on it. Have you already completed this activity? Have you already complete uh, the final test? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So it's gonna be easy. Uh, in order to, okay, very good, amazing. Uh, so um, as I said before, it's gonna be easy for us in order to complete this part. And also we are going, <clears throat> I mean, to review the information um, of this part too, okay? Uh, please, let's go uh, to the audio, the audio script, I mean, to the audio uh, track and pay attention to it. Then we are going to answer this according to the information that you already have. Um, are you listening the audio? No. No. Not uh, teacher. Just let me fix that. Moment. Okay. What about now? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. So well, I'm going to play this audio. Pay attention. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hello? Hello, Karen. This is Manuel from downstairs. Oh, hi, Manuel. What's up? Well, I'm having a party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to come. Oh, I'd love to, but I already have theater tickets. Uh, would it be okay, then, if I borrowed your CD player for the party? Mine's broken. You'll be careful with it? It's new, you know. Sure. Don't worry. I'll take special care of it. Okay. I'll bring it down tomorrow morning. Great. Thanks, Karen. Bye. Two. Hello? Hello? Is this Mikio? This is Jeff. Sorry, Mikio isn't here right now. Could you call back later tonight, say, after 7? Well, uh, do you mind giving him a message? Not at all. It's Jeff. Jeff Jackson. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up? No problem. I'll tell him to call you tonight. Three. Hey, Brian, did you hear? This couple was walking to the mailbox on the corner when a thief stopped them. You're kidding. No, it was terrible. They didn't have any money, so the thief was going to make them go to a cash machine. But then a police car drove by. What happened? Did he get arrested? They said the robber got scared when he saw the police, and he ran down the street and around the corner. So he escaped? Unfortunately, he did. Four. Well, how was the beach today, Yvonne? Great. There was just one little problem. Oh, what was that? Well, after I parked the car, we got our lunch out of the trunk and carried everything down to the beach. And about an hour later, I realized that I had forgotten to lock the car. Oh, no. Was anything stolen? Well, I had taken the keys with me, but I had locked my wallet in the glove compartment like I usually do whenever I go swimming. Wow. You've learned a good lesson, haven't you? Uh-huh. Remember to lock the car. Okay, do we have the audio um, of this listening part? 
Um, first of all, we're going to be working on um, the first item here, the first sentence, and it says Monaco Karen and wants to. And here we have the different options. Uh, bring the city to her party, go to the theater with her, or borrow her city player, which is the correct answer according to the information you listen from this audio. Borrow her city player. <clears throat> borrow her is it a player okay um what i keep there um do you remember the topic and related to this uh exercise yes yes okay what is this topic about um the, the expressions do you mind if uh okay Yes, that's correct. Yes, we're we are on the path there. So um, if you remember, uh, we were discussing in, in classes that uh, there are some expressions in order to um, request for something. If you are going to request a favor to someone else, there are some different expressions there. And um, also, uh, if you remember, we were discussing too that um, there are different levels. Uh, when we are going to request for a favor. Uh, we have some sentences that we use that we commonly use in order to request something when, when uh, the situation is, um, is um, like, like um, I forgot the word, <laughs> it's I'm like sorry. informal, that's the word I was, I was looking for. Uh, okay, when the situation is informal. So there are some specific things like, hey, can I borrow something? Can you let me in? Okay, so th th those expressions we use it when we have, when we are in an informal uh, situation, okay? But uh, what happened if we uh, request something that's required to be a little bit, uh, or require us to be more, uh, or express our ideas in a, a, a more formal way. We use another expression. Uh, like? Would you like, would you, could you make me a favor? Okay, very good, good, excellent. Yes, that's correct, Lorena. So we use that kind of, those kind of expressions in order to um, request for favors. So uh, for instance, situations like that would be you asking something to your boss. Okay, or you asking something to someone that you don't know, but you need something from them. Okay, so things like that. Uh, oh, and, and also, uh, I remember that I, I said regarding to these kind of expressions that we use it uh, probably with a friend and family, but when it's something so important for them, or um, it, it's going to cause like, um, a, a very special caring of all the things they are going to borrow to us. We use formal sentences too, even though that they are friends or if, even though they, they are family too. So uh, what, I'm, what things I'm referring to, for instance, uh, a car, a house, if we're going to request a favor in order to, to uh, borrow um, a, a, a car, so we are going to use formal expressions. Okay. Uh, we're going to move to the uh, sentence number two, and it says, just uh, listen here, I mean, read here. It says, Jeff, Jeff asked the man to leave this message, the message for Mikio, um, which is the correct answer. Could you call back later tonight after seven? Could you um, ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Oh, could you tell me here we are playing basketball? Which is the correct answer? Uh, could you tell we're playing basketball? Okay. Could you tell me you were we're playing basketball? Okay, we wanna check later. Uh, number three. Uh, it says while the couple was walking to the mailbox. Which is the correct answer? A, a thief stopped them. A thief stopped them. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, the last one. At the beach, Yvonne learned to be more careful about locking her car doors 
as her mom to lock the glove com compartment or forgot her lunch and wallet in the truck of the car, which is the correct answer. What is the correct the first, option? The first one. The first option. The number one. Okay. Which, which is that option? Can you read it for me, please? Learning to be more careful about locking her car doors. Thank you so much. Okay. Learn to be more careful about locking your car doors. Good. So let's check. I want to send this. Uh, okay. Oh, we have one missing. Number yeah, two. Yeah, I think it, I think it was the second one. It is the second one. Could you ask Mickey what time I shall pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Yes. Yes. Yes, but after dinner, just one. No, the second one. Just the second one. Okay, let's try. Okay, there you have. That's correct. So, um, it's gonna be like, could you ask me what time I shall pick him up tomorrow afternoon? This is a question that we are going to be using here. Um, we're going to move to the next session and uh, this is regarding to your request. <clears throat> in this section number, in the section uh, V, we're going to find an instructions that it says, write requests using the information given, okay? Um, there you have part of the, um, of the questions request and here we have like uh, the information that we are going to be using in order to create a, this kind of sentence and the number one it says you want your friend to lend her laptop for the weekend in the expression star like polite uh, or could I what's going to be the answer for this sentence Which is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Maybe could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? Okay. Yes, we can try. Okay, I'm, I'm going to write that. Uh, could I borrow your laptop or the weekend. Okay, let's try. Uh, I'm going to send one by one. Okay, very good. This is the correct one. Borrow your laptop for the weekend. Good, very good, Lorena. Um, number two. Angelica, do you complete this sentence? Would it be okay if I borrow if I borrow your cell phone? Okay, Let, let's try. It says your classmate has a cell phone. You want to use it. Will it be okay if I borrow your cell phone? Let's try. No. Is something wrong here? Oh, cell phone problem. No. Oh, any other option? If I use your cell phone. If I use, let's try. If I use your cell phone. Yes, that's correct. So there we have the answer for the sentence number two. Um, Jensi, you are going to answer the number three. Uh, just take a look. It says, you want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he is finished reading it. And we have part of this request. It says, I was wondering if you mind. Um, it be, it will like be. Um, Lending me your newspaper, teacher. Lending me, me your newspaper. Newspaper. 
Let's try. Lend, lending me your newspaper. Your own. Oh. Yes, Mason. Your newspaper. No, your. It does, doesn't match. It must be your. Okay. Is something wrong here? Is something wrong here? Okay, any of you have any other option? Lending me the Lending newspaper. Me ah, the newspaper? Yes. Let's try. Lending no. me your newspaper. Lending uh, me. Lending que hay espacio ahí, me? Teacher, en new paper. Where? What is the what is that space? I can see it. Ah, uh, aquí en news. Oh, after news, separado, yes, that, that's, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I got it now. <laughs> yes, let's okay. My apologies for that mistake. I, I didn't see that space there. Okay, there we have. Yes, it's correct. So and I think the other option is gonna be correct too if I use D. Let me just let me try. Yeah. Also, we can use the instead of your uh, lending me the newspaper or lending me your newspaper. So both options are correct. Very good. So uh, we're going to move on now to the next the next session. That's going to be um, section C. Um, and here we have uh, the. the End of this exercise, and it says check the correct phrase. Uh, the instruction that we have here is check the correct phrase to com to complete each request. Um, there we have the first sentence that it says, "Could you tell Matt?" Okay, what that a Kiko can come to class tomorrow. Or does Akiko come to class tomorrow? What do you think? That Akiko can come to class tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, very good. So uh, we're gonna keep the uh, there with the, the this uh, the exercise number one. Uh, I mean the, the sentence number one. And, and I want to ask you this: uh, Do you remember this topic? Do you remember the topic where we... Uh, it's always about the favor, no? Um, mm, no, it's not about favors. It's a different topic. Indirect, indirect requests. Indirect requests, very good. Indirect requests. When we ask someone in order to deliver a message to someone else, okay? Uh, like if I don't want to say Lorena, Directly what I what I what I want or what I'm asking. Um, so I'm going to tell Angela to say my questions to Lorena or my request to Lorena. Okay. Yeah. So it's like indirect um, yeah. indirect request. Indirect request. Yes, that, that's correct. <clears throat> so there there you have this is the, the sentence number one, and it says, Could you tell Matt? that Akiko come, uh, can't come to class tomorrow. Number two. Yes. Can you ask David? If he wants to study together tonight. If he wants to study together tonight or whether or not he wants to study together tonight. What do you think? Whether, it's whether the second. Or whether or not to study together tonight. Okay, let's try going to be whether or not he wants to study together tonight. And the number three. Can you tell Harriet, um, don't be late for class on Monday or not to be late for class on Monday? Not to be late. Not to be late for class. Okay. Not on to Monday. be late for class on Monday. So we want to try. And want to send this information. Yes, there we have. It says that all uh, answers are correct. 
Um, well, this is the, the this is just uh, related to the topic in the direct request. And as I said before, um, and something that I have to mention here is that if we want to use a uh, indirect request, remember that uh, that <laughs> is optional when we are going to express something. That's going to be optional. Okay. Um, so that, that's it. Uh, and Wait, then, so, sorry, I, want, I have a question. Okay. Uh, you can use, I can use whether or not for when I'm talking to, to someone. Are you yes. going to go with me, whether or not? Or yes, yes, like you, you, you must use it because you are asking for uh, options, whether or not, okay? It's like a, a, if you are given an option um, or if you are a, going to a, say a, like a positive thing or a, an affirmative, a, a, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be asking for an affirmative um, response, so. That's a whether or not. So if this and, is going to be the, the this thing or, or not. The difference is between the pronunciation with weather? No, it's weather? the same. Weather. Weather, oh, okay. weather. So okay. uh, probably you're referring to weather like a uh, time when. Yeah. Yes, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that, yes, it's going to be like a little bit the same weather and weather. Okay, okay. weather, weather. Yeah, we wanna we wanna just check that. Um, let's see if this is if this work in that way. Let me just. Uh, I don't know if I'm sharing the audio. Let's try. Yes. It's gonna be uh, which is weather. Okay. Yeah. W H P T. Weather and weather. Weather. weather that's the pronunciation of it weather weather, weather. and the other one is weather weather you yeah. see the same pronunciation the same. the same pronunciation weather and weather yes same pronunciation weather and weather so um, there you have, I'm gonna say that's the same pronunciation for those words. Um, okay, guys, uh, let's move on to the next part. It's gonna be section D. Um, in the section D, it says complete the story. Um, the instruction that we have for this uh, exercise, it says complete the paragraph, use the simple past, past continue, or past perfect. You only need to type the word in brackets. That's the only thing that we're going to be adding here to this uh, sentence. So we don't need to complete or we don't need to write the whole sentence in order to answer. Um, it's a simple pass. The pass continues or pass perfect. Uh, we're going to get uh, 20 points here. Uh, and just take a look at the first sentence. It says, um, at your wedding, uh, the bride in room um, so we're going to use get there into a terrible argument, which, which is the answer there. Is it simple pass, pass continuous, pass. pass perfect? Simple pass. Okay, in this case, what is going to be, okay, you saw the answer there. Well, we <laughs> know that, we knew the answer before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which is the correct answer you got, right? Because yeah. this is simple pass. You have Very to good. do it. You don't have to have the answer. <laughs> that's yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. It is because we I have been working this before with some other uh, students. So that's why I have the answer there. The options. Okay. So I'm not going to click on it. You know, you show the answer there. Okay. Just take a look at the second sentence and it says, uh, the rice water had just moved aside when the room. Um, we're gonna answer their step with the word uh, step on the bride's beautiful dress. Step. Step. Simple past. Step. Simple pass. And what is the pass of step? The last one has just moved aside from the room. What is the pass of step? 
Es que regular. ¿Repetiría bien? Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't remember if you have to double the P. Mm -hmm. No, it's just E-B. E-B, just E-B. Okay. Yes, like that. Step. Step, yeah. S-T-E-P-P-E-D. Yeah, you have, because you have yes, to double the P. Yes, this happened. Just let me explain why. Uh, this happened because we have here it's something that is um, it's a rule we use yeah, consonant, you, vowel, consonant. yes consonant vowel consonant if we have consonant vowel consonant what we're going to do is just add another consonant same consonant and we are going to add ed it, this uh, this kind of thing apply also when we use the uh, continuous the, the words so uh or the progressive of the, the progressive verb so the same happened um, just uh, I mentioned this because this is just the way that we can do this. Yeah, okay. We have a number two, and it says the number two. Well, I we have the, the verb play tennis yesterday afternoon. I realized that I had forgotten some, which is the correct answer there. What is the correct uh, answer? While I was playing. Play. Was playing, okay. Was playing. Okay. Here we have the answer. Yes. Okay. This is past continuous. 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 Okay. Very good. And the last one. It says I could call my wife to say I would be late for dinner because I. And we have the uh, words in in parentheses. Not put my cell phone phone in my tennis bag. She was pretty hungry. She was pretty hungry when I got home. So, which is the correct answer here? I wonder what I uh, put myself. I, I, I had, I had not, not put. put. Had not put. Okay. So, in put is regular or irregular verb? Irregular. Irregular. Okay, regular word, yes, that's correct. So um, let's check all the information here. And yes, there we have. But why, why it does, in that, in that uh, sentences you couldn't say, I couldn't call my wife to say I wouldn't be late for dinner because I didn't put my cell phone in, the, in that sentence. That I, I don't know, I, I, I try with this. Uh, with it, you mean in, uh, instead, instead, of, instead of yeah, this. instead of had. Why? What is it is not possible to 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 use because oh, I didn't yeah, because, put my cell phone. Okay, just, just take a look at this. Uh, when we use the uh, present, uh, I mean past perfect, is because uh, we have an action before uh, yeah, that, an action that that we are referring to. So. In that action was interrupted, interrupted by something that happened in the same past, but at the end. So just take a look of this of this um, example here of this sentence here. I couldn't call my wife. Okay, we are referring there that we couldn't do something for. I couldn't um, call my wife to say I will be late for dinner. There we are referring to something in a specific in the past. Okay, and then in the next sentence that we're going to be using is going to be interrupted or uh, the information that we're going to be providing is going to be interrupted, interrupted by the information that we are given there. Because I had not put, I had not put my cell phone um, in my tennis bag. So th that's why, because uh, we are just referring to something in the past and uh, if we refer to something in the past, this action is going to be interrupted by another uh, sentence in the past. In this case, must be a past perfect. Okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, and also, we complement that uh, sentence just saying, she was pretty yeah, hungry when I got home. So, just like adding more, just adding extra information to mm -hmm. um, the information that has been already given there. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. 
Uh, there we are going to read the stories for this exercise. I will need three uh, volunteers. I don't know who wants to be a volunteer. Just raise your hands if you if you are a volunteer. You can use the option there in Zoom in order to raise your hand. The read it? Yes, the reading part. Uh, mm -hmm. I need one volunteer for, uh, for study number one. A, a second volunteer for story number two and a third volunteer for um, story number three, okay? Number one, teacher, me? Okay, Jensi, go ahead. Then Angelica and I, I need someone else. Okay, number one. Yes, number um, one. Okay, one day, uh, um, pronunciation teacher, statue, mm -hmm. stat. Go ahead. Um, us uh, a gum, the supper from the garden, us an elderly couple in Florida. A month later, in May, they received received a, a photo of of the gum in the front of back uh, back <laughs> um, back in the, uh, palaces in London for five years. They received photos of their status in many famous places around the world. They finally got the coming back, but never found found out good took or it or why. Mm -hmm. Okay, this I get story right. It says one day a statue of a gun. Do you know what is a gun? Do you know what is that? No. A gun? No? No. Just let me let me show you uh, this. Let me see if, if it is possible to show you this. Yes. Yeah, and the pronunciation, pronunciation is I don't know. Uh, I don't know gum. if you see if you yes, see. Um I don't know. <laughs> uh to give me just yes, gum. I'm going to show you um a picture of it. Um, let me um. just uh, set up my, my camera. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to take away my. Background. Where is my background? I don't remember. Oh, okay, here. Okay, there we have. Just take a look here. Um, can you see this? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's a gum. Like a duende. This is, yes. Yes. That's like a like yes like that. This is a garden gum. So uh, just take a look up this story, and it says that um, a, one day, an statue of a gun disappeared from the garden of an elderly couple in Florida. A month later, in the mail, they received a photo of the gun in front of the Buckingham Palace. You know what is that, right? The Buckingham yeah, Palace? Yes, in London. Yeah, right? I would have been there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, th I thought that you, you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you uh, can look at that place there in Buckingham, uh, that's all, yeah. in, in London, the Buckingham Palace, okay? So uh, just listen there. For five years, they received photo of this statue in many famous places around the world. So basically, that gun was traveling around the world and people were just receiving photos of uh, of those uh, of this gun, they finally got the gun back, but never for now who took it um, or why. They didn't know what happened, uh, but there is something that uh, it was real. This is sorry, it's <laughs> of real. real. Yeah, th th oh. this was true. Okay, so um, in the story number one. It says, just referring to the story number one, it says, 
What could be the type the title for this story? What could be the title for story number one? Is, what a coincidence is still, is still it's still a mystery, a mystery, a mystery. or a silly predicament. It's still a mystery. It's still a mystery. Yes, that's that's a correct um, title for the story number one. Okay, number two, uh, Angelica, your turn. Okay, um, Joe was living the good life. In the 90s, he was president of a software company, owned a jet, and was making a lot of money in the stock market. Then his looks changed with the stock market. He lost everything, his business, his savings, and the jet. Oof, okay. That's hard. Yeah, that's hard, right? Yes, imagine living a good life with all things you want and all things you want. And one day later you miss or you lost everything. Okay. So this happened in the 1990s. Okay, this, this was a real story too. Okay. Okay, then let's just which is the correct uh, title for this. Sorry, what a coincidence, emergency, or what a terrible misfortune. What a terrible misfortune. Yes, yeah, that's right. What a terrible misfortune. <laughs> yes, correct. And the last one, any other volunteer? It's me, teacher. Okay, uh, Lorena. I, no, Angela, it's okay. Okay, Angela, so. Okay, I story one number three. Okay, one song. Okay, one Sunday, many in his family decide to go to the beach. Around noon, in instead getting cloudy, then I start thundering and raining. A hard many got his family safely back to the cars, but the in engineer won't start he using his cell phone to call 911 but the two truck could not hear me then because the roads were closed it's called pronunciation teacher okay. yes float float Yes. Hello. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, uh, once on a date, uh, many in his family decide to go to the beach. Okay. Like something happened there, I guess. And it says um, around noon, it start getting cloudy. Mm -hmm. Then it start thundering mm -hmm. and raining, raining hard. Many got his family safely back to the car. Mm -hmm. But the engine wouldn't start. Oh, what? That's a story. He used a cell phone to call 911, but the tow truck couldn't help them because the roads were flowed. So let's uh, just choose the title for this story number three. Uh, what a coincidence, emergency. emergency, or a silly predic predicament. Emergency. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. You think? No, sorry. Emergency. No, <laughs> it's an emergency. Okay, it's an emergency, but <laughs> what is the meaning yes. of prudence? It, it will be it will be like what a coincidence. Just imagine uh first of all the raining. So and then uh the kitten uh well they call to you tonight night eleven. But the, the, the truck couldn't help them because the roads were closed. So it could be like, what a coincidence too, but for that one is an emergency. So there we have, these are the three titles for it. Uh, and this is going to be the end, uh, the end of this, um, the end of this final test. Um, just let me, uh, Go to the main menu.
Okay. Guys, um, oh, and just take a look at this, uh, this information here. It says, uh, este curso acaba en cinco días, el 4 de octubre eh, del 2022. Después de esta fecha, el contenido del curso será archivado. Vale, esta información que tenemos aquí, chicos, este, nos está indicando pues, eh, únicamente eh, los días que, tenemos, que vamos a tener disponible este eh, curso. Eh, se supone que para esta fecha todos ustedes eh, deberían estar con el 80% o más en sus, eh, en sus porcentajes. Eh, al inicio del curso yo les compartía esta gráfica eh, que hacía referencia básicamente este al, a, a los porcentajes que nosotros íbamos a estar trabajando en este en el módulo, ¿sí? Decíamos que la, la sección 1, la sección 2, 3, 4 y 5 correspondían a una nota global, ¿sí? Esta nota global que obteníamos de estas cinco secciones eh, se iban a sumar eh, a la nota que obtuviésemos en el midterm y la nota que obtuviésemos en el final test. Eh, estas notas, pues, corresponderían, este, las tres notas corresponderían al 100% correspondiente este, um, al módulo. Uh, una de las ventajas que ustedes tenían era que podían este, repetir las veces que ustedes quisieran eh, los ejercicios. ¿sí? Eh, habían op eh, eh, oportunidades ilimitadas para poder contestar. Eh, aquí tenemos nosotros pues prácticamente... Eh, la pantalla del progreso si sí me gustaría que cada uno revisara su progreso y si todavía no ha alcanzado el límite para pasar con el 80% lo haga y si no sé si no estoy seguro si ya se les habilitó o se les va a habilitar porque no he revisado eso aún eh, la opción para que ustedes puedan descargar su diploma digital y con ello pues puedan obtener ya su este, eh, documento que les acredita eh, para poder continuar en el próximo módulo y que les acredita también este, que han cursado el módulo de pre-avanzado, pre sería pre-avanzado 1. Eh, ¿Ok? Así que revisan eso. Este, luego está la parte de... Déjenme ver dónde estamos. No. Ah, aquí está, mire. No, entonces no, no está habilitado aún. A partir del 6 de octubre, a partir del 6 de octubre ya va a estar habilitado el certificado. Eh, yo, así que, hola. Yo ya lo generé, teacher. ¿Ya lo generó? Ya ah, aparece, qué bueno. Qué bueno. Ya me sí. aparece también, teacher. Ah, qué bueno. Bueno, en este caso, este, muy probablemente lo habilitaron este, con, con anticipación. Eh, pero en todo caso, aquí teníamos como cierta información que nos podía servir este, de referencia. Eh, luego está la parte de discusión, este, que en este caso eran las publicaciones que ustedes venían haciendo. Vamos a ver. Las opciones de instructor, que este es lo que me interesa. Quiero revisar este, las... Um, las los, 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 los avances. Solo quiero... Revisar si hay personas pendientes aún. Vale. Esto no lo vamos a compartir porque es información este, eh, de ustedes, pero, pero como están todas las listas, pues lo vamos a mantener en privado. Eh, sí quiero revisar este, algunos que están por aquí. Por ejemplo, Alejandro, no sé si estará por aquí. Fátima y Elvina. No sé si este, um, ellos los conocen ustedes, ya, los, ya, ya, han, ya han trabajado con ustedes anteriormente. 
De acuerdo, entonces estamos bien. Todos los que estamos aquí, este, por lo que puedo revisar según la plataforma, este, han completado ya más del 80%. Solamente estos tres casos que, que esperaba resolver ahora para que era, que era lo que estaba sucediendo en sí. Pero este, en vista de que pues, eh, no están, no los conocemos, este, lo vamos a dejar así. Bien, chicos, um, pues este ha sido el final del módulo de preavanzado 1. Este... Esto sería todo. Esta es la última clase en sí este, que corresponde a este módulo. Este, y de mi parte, pues, espero que la información que se compartió, la información que ustedes estuvieron trabajando en la plataforma, este, les haya servido de mucho en su aprendizaje del idioma inglés. Eh, créanme que este, el tener el, el compromiso, digamos, para poder aprender un nuevo idioma este, va a tener su recompensa en su momento. Una persona, eh, créeme que una persona que este, habla un segundo idioma tiene muchísimas oportunidades. Eh, muy probablemente, pues, en las empresas donde ustedes estén trabajando, este, se lo solicitaron pues, como requisito o pues aquellos que tal vez aún no tienen trabajo y quieren aplicar, les va a, a hacer eh, o les va a dar como un plus a ese currículum que ustedes tienen eh, y espero pues, que estos otros módulos que vienen les saquen provecho eh, que practiquen, hay muchas plataformas en las que nosotros podemos practicar eh, trabajen bastante la cuestión de eh, el escuchar en inglés el, um, el buscar esta información que nos permite a nosotros practicar la pronunciación, esas dos cosas son eh, los que a título personal considero eh, que muchas veces nos cuesta. ¿sí? ¿Pero algún lugar donde, donde nos recomienda? Sí, por supuesto. Bueno, este, número uno, eh, bueno, yo les puedo compartir eh, un par de aplicaciones. Este, si gustan, luego de la, de la videoconferencia se los puedo compartir al grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes la descarguen y, no, la, y la trabajen. Por no favor, puedo decir el nombre ahorita. Porque sí, este, sí, sí. por cuestiones de copyright, ¿verdad? No, no se lo sí. puedo decir, pero con todo gusto me comprometo a enviarles un par de aplicaciones para que ustedes practiquen. ¿De acuerdo, Lorena? Por favor, sí. Yo, yo le pedí Bye. también que, que me Thank you, teacher. cómo Bye. crear. A mí me sí. parecía interesante eso de cómo crear los, los juegos esos de, de, para encontrar verbos, pero no sé cómo crearlos para poder uno seguir practicando otros verbos. Este, yo le pregunté, oh. en, en, ajá, y no sé. ¿Se puede? ¿Uno lo puede hacer o solo lo sí, hace un claro profesor? Sí, claro que lo puede hacer. Mire, hay una, hay una plataforma, esta sí la puedo compartir, es la de este, Live Worships. Eh, en Live Worships, usted prácticamente puede este, eh, buscar ejercicios que ya están creados y usted puede crear sus propios ejercicios. Y lo puede hacer en base este, a diferentes documentos. En el live words, en el, los live worksheets eh, son como este. Eh, se escribe live. live. Se, se lo voy a escribir aquí. Porfa. Mi WhatsApp, teacher. Hola. No, no. En WhatsApp. Please. Ah, de acuerdo. Thank you. Les voy a enviar el enlace de una sola vez para que ustedes puedan buscar. Ok. Un segundo, acceder al WhatsApp. Vamos a esperar que cargue. Vale, en lo que carga, este, le, le sigo... Eh, le sigo explicando este, parte de lo que tenía que decir ahora. Ah, oh, no, ya cargo. Un segundo, solo, solo comparto esto. Vamos a ver. Se supone que debía estar aquí. Bueno, ahí les dejo. Esa es una de las páginas web en las que nosotros podemos practicar. Ahí ustedes escriben el tema que a ustedes les interese. Eh, si quieren aprender del presente simple, el pasado, de todos los tiempos que ustedes consideren, hay muchos eh, ejercicios ya creados que ustedes pueden simplemente irlos desarrollando. ¿Saben cuál es la ventaja de estos live workshops? Que eh, ustedes pueden resolverlos directamente 
desde la página web porque son interactivos. No necesitan ustedes descargar el documento y luego este, desarrollarlos a mano, uh -huh. sino que directamente en la página, ahí les aparecen los espacios y ella misma les revisa a ustedes si las respuestas que ustedes están dando están correctas o no. En algunos casos, incluso les aparece información de cómo completarlo. Por ejemplo, si, si es del presente simple, le desarrolla como este, la temática del presente simple y más abajo le muestra los ejercicios. ¿sí? Ahora, como docentes, este, ustedes pueden crear sus propios live workshops. Por ejemplo, si ustedes están trabajando con algún libro, ¿sí? creo que hay un par de docentes aquí que les puede, les puede servir, no solamente para inglés. Si ustedes están trabajando con un libro, simplemente lo escanean y ustedes esa hoja la pueden hacer automáticamente interactiva. Um, agregarles espacio donde contestar, eh, hacer matchings, um, hacer este, como ejercicios de complementar, sopas de letras, eh, una infinidad de, de, de opciones que tiene para que ustedes puedan crear sus propios recursos. ¿sí? Eh, okay. Y esa sería como la, la, primera, la, la primera herramienta que yo les sugiero que puedan este, tomarle eh, cierta ventaja para poder aprender inglés. La otra es este, una aplicación gratuita para aprender inglés que lo trabaja por lecciones. No sé si han escuchado ustedes de Duolingo. Sí, sí. Es aplicación buenísima sí. para practicar. ¿sí? Buenísima, buenísima para practicar. Este, ahí se van desarrollando lecciones por lecciones. Es eh, recomendable para adquirir vocabulario. ¿sí? Así que este... Los que no la tienen, de igual forma, se las voy a compartir. Vamos a ver. Para, y como para retell stories, que, que uno pueda, pueda retell la story y, y que se la, la computadora nos la, nos la corrija, porque yo lo puedo intentar hacer, pero ¿cómo sé que está bueno o no está bueno? Ah, muy bien. <coughs> ya vamos a ver. Como de gramática sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, es más, ahí sería en Britel es más de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Que, que le, le, le vean la pronunciación, si uno la dijo bien, si estructuró bien la oración. Sí, de ese tengo, si no me equivoco, ahorita les comparto solamente este enlace para que puedan practicar. Este, y de Retail Stories, este, creo que tengo un enlace, pero ese lo tendría que buscar porque hay una página en la que nosotros podemos ir um, leyendo los textos y grabando nuestro audio. Al final, este, la misma aplicación hace como matching de nuestra pronunciación con la, este, con la correcta. pronunciación que debería ser este, la correcta. Tengo ah, una sí. página, pero la tengo que buscar, Lorena. Sí, este, ahí, ahí lo voy puede. a molestar todos los días hasta que me la, me la mande. De acuerdo. <risa> de acuerdo, está bien, está bien. Este, se las voy a compartir. Dígame, Joana. Oh, muchas gracias, todo eso es muy interesante y nos va a dar un montón, Tisha. <risa> por supuesto, por supuesto. Tenemos que trabajar en un call center o en algo así. así sí, que... mira, miren, este, créeme que eh, no sé, ¿alguno de ustedes ha tenido la oportunidad de trabajar en un call center? Yo no. No, Tisha, no. 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 Ese, ese, ese es mi objetivo. <risa> ese es su objetivo. Miren que este es, es bonito. Yo estuve hace un par de meses este, en, en un call center este, y créanme que hay como ciertas cuentas en las que tal vez no se requiere como tanto nivel de inglés. Hay otras cuentas que se requiere un nivel intermedio, un nivel avanzado, hasta intérpretes. Eh, si ustedes logran entrar en un call center, créanme que van a desarrollar muchísimo la habilidad este, del speaking y la, la habilidad del listening. Este, y una vez ya estando en un call center... Este, incluso ellos tienen como ciertas academias dentro del call center que les ayudan a ustedes a mejorar muchísimo ¿sí? eh, eso pues le, le pueden tomar ventaja también, apliquen créanme que este, la experiencia en un call center este, en a, la mayoría de los casos este, es muy buena y también verdad <ríe> la cuestión monetaria este, a diferencia de los salarios que, que, que se manejan aquí en El Salvador pues es muchísimo más elevado. Con facilidad ustedes pueden ¿qué? ganar arriba de, de mil dólares. Con facilidad, solo haciendo un par de horas extra. Este, eh, que uh, trabajando de lunes 
a viernes, ¿sí? horarios, horarios de oficina, eh, dependiendo este, cómo usted esté organizado. ¿sí? Así que este, los invito, ese, ese es un buen objetivo para poder este, trabajarlo y qué bueno, Lorena, que ese este, sea su propósito para aprender. That's my goal. <ríe> ok, excelente, excelente. Bien, este, chicos, eso ha sido todo mi parte, como les decía. Eh, uh -huh. Agradezco, pues, que ustedes hayan estado asistiendo. Muchas veces es como un poco difícil llevar la secuencia este, de eh, la asistencia de todos ustedes, pero por lo visto, eh, la mayoría de ustedes pues, han estado pendientes de este, los ejercicios que se han estado trabajando, han estado este, ahí asistiendo a las videoconferencias, han estado trabajando los ejercicios, lo cual pues da un indicio de que ustedes pues, realmente este, tienen ganas de aprender. Así que eh, muy probablemente, tal vez nos veamos más adelante, si no, pues, saquenle provecho a los otros este, tutores que van a tener. Pregunten, pregunten este, si algo no lo entienden. Eh, porque de esa es la forma en que nosotros pues, aprendemos. No nos quedemos nunca con la duda. Y este, practiquemos muchísimo, que ese es otro aspecto importante en el aprendizaje de un idioma, el practicar, ¿sí? Ustedes, si usted no tiene con quién practicar, genere esos espacios. Miren, en internet hay muchísimas páginas web en las que ustedes pueden conectarse este, con personas que quieren practicar el idioma español y ustedes pueden sacarle provecho practicando también el idioma inglés, ¿sí? Eh, una de esas es Discord. No sé si conocen ustedes la plataforma de Discord. Hay como este, no, ustedes se pueden. No, 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 nada de plataforma. Ya esa, es, ya esa es una plataforma un poco más, más este, eh, digamos, eh, sofisticada. Es como una red social, se puede decir, eh, en la que ustedes pues, buscan un grupo este, de aprendizaje, se unen a ese grupo y pueden practicar este, con ellos, con hablantes. Discord, como nativos. que fuera disco. No, Discord. Es, se los voy a escribir por aquí. Y por favor. En WhatsApp, teacher. Sí, sí. Ahí, gracias, muchas gracias eh, ese por Discord todos es, tus consejos. Ese Discord es como este, una, una plataforma de, de red social. ¿sí? Lo único que tienen que buscar ustedes son grupos para aprender inglés. Eh, así pónganlo en la red. Este, cuando ya tengan la aplicación instalada, busquen grupos para aprender inglés en, en, en en Google, y les van a tirar como códigos y cosas así, ustedes pueden ir probando pues, si hay gente conectada ahí, pueden ir este, ustedes eh, practicando el idioma. Eh, sí. Y pues, por lo demás, chicos, agradecerles, ¿verdad? Este, toda la atención, estoy a la disposición, por pues, si alguna vez ustedes quieren preguntar algo, este, si quieren, pues, eh, que les aclare alguna duda, eh, ahí tienen mi número, ¿sí? En, en WhatsApp, ahí los tengo agregados a todos. Así que, eh, Solo escríbanme, ¿sí? Y yo con todo gusto les voy a responder. Gracias. Sí, muchísimas gracias, maestro. Muy amable. Dios lo bendiga. Gracias por todo, gracias. teacher. Muchas gracias. Por gracias, gracias, teacher. Gracias por ayuda. Sí. Saludos. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Bendiciones. Cuídense. Bueno, Adiós. bendiciones. Cuídense. Adiós. Buenas noches. compañeros. Ok, Adiós. see you next time. This... Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Thank Bless you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Adiós. Adiós.